Hey guys, today in this video I will just show you how to uh, disassemble the Retro Stone 2 in order to change the screen, change the screen protector or just clean some dust. So you will need a screwdriver, a small uh, Phillips screwdriver of around uh, 2.5 or 3 millimeters. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, also a bubble wrap can be nice. So we can just put the console not directly on the hard surface of the desk, nope, but on the soft surface. So, okay. So this is the glass screen protector. So if you want to install it, I will show you in the video how how to do it. And the console with the PC protector. So the first thing. Uh, that I want to point out is that if your screen has a lot of scratches like this one then it's probably that you haven't removed the protective film as you can see you can remove the film and the PC protector behind is very very uh, neat so okay so the first thing is that the console must be off uh, like this one then we will just remove the start by removing the battery then we have to unscrew those six screws Then we are going to open the console. So the two things that will fall off are the plastic buttons because they are moving parts. So just make sure you don't lose them. So you can see in order to keep the PCB down, I, I hold it by the, the USB port. And so I can lift the back case gently. And if it doesn't want to come, then it means the screws maybe are holding a little bit so I can unscrew more. There you go. And so, as you can see, I will just put the, the back case on the right side. The screws will just fall behind, so make sure you don't lose those small screws. You have six of them. And then, as you can see, the two small plastic parts, they are still in their slots, but maybe they will just move uh, so in, to make sure you don't lose them, the best is to put them uh, aside. So just here. Um, and so now um, we are going to lift. So for convenience, you can unconnect the back case if you prefer. You can just hold the, the white connector with your nails and just lift the connector. So that you can you know, remove this and it's more easy to manipulate the rest. So you can just lift the whole PCB. So try to avoid touching the chips or any, any components. The best is to hold the side of the PCB or the connectors is, is also okay. Um, but try not to put your fingers directly on the chips. It's because if you have a static electro, uh, electrostatic uh, charge, then you can damage the PCB. Uh, so the, of course, yeah, I, sorry, I didn't, I didn't say that before, but you have to ground yourself before starting to opening the, the case. So to ground yourself, you can touch uh, metal pipe uh, in your home or, or the ground uh, pin of, um, of power sockets. Uh, okay, so and also try to not touch the PCB components. So just hold by the side and the, and the connectors and you can lift the PCB and you can see the LCD is right there. So you can just lift, uh, can we see? Yes. So you can just lift the LCD gently until it pops out. 
by pulling on the FPC, you pull gently on the on the uh, on the ribbon until it just lifts like this. Okay, and that's it. So if you just want to clean, if you just want to clean the the some dust, you can use a, a soft clothes, clean everything, and put it back together. Uh, you can also change the silicones if you prefer the replacement silicones. They are a different type. So maybe if you if you think that the pad is too soft or too strong, you can try the other silicone. Uh, so now we'll try to um, we'll first show how to unconnect the LCD if you have to replace the LCD. So you just put the LCD here. You unfold it like this, and you see on the PCB you have. Um, a black part uh, on the PCB con uh, FPC connector here and so this black part it can lift I will try to make it clear on the video just a, a second here you can use your nail under it and lift it like this you see if I look on the side if we look on the side uh, you can see it lifted And then the LCD will just come out. And then when you have, you put the new one inside, like this, you make sure it's uh, connected correctly. So just insert the FPC inside and then you close again. You close the black part by pushing with your nails on it and it will snap shut. Okay, so now we'll see how to remove the PC protector if you want to replace with the glass protector. So here is the glass protector. You have two things. This is the glass protector and this is a double side tape. So the idea is that if when you remove the uh, PC protector, you also remove the double side tape, you can use this one. You see the frame inside, uh, this double face tape is has two parts, there is the frame and the inside. So the inside we will not be using it, you can keep it for other use. And the, what we need is to stick the frame of this double face tape on the glass protector and then apply it on the cavity. So first we need to remove the PC protector. So you, you need to push on the PC protector. Okay. And as you can see, the double face tape just stayed right on the cavity. In which case you can just use the same double face tape but if it's if it stick to the PC protector, then you can use uh, uh, the new one. Uh, I will try to show from closer. You see the PC protector, there is nothing on it. And on the frame, you can see the double face tape here, right? But let's say we messed things up, so we'll try to We'll just remove everything. So the first thing, if you have to replace the 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 double face tape, is you have to clean everything to make sure there is no nothing left. So you can use some tool like a screwdriver and just lift all the the bad thing up. You remove everything. But again, if your double face tape is clean, then the easiest is just to use the same one, obviously. So this is if uh, it didn't uh, stick to the case and it's messy and then you best have to replace it. So we remove everything. Then here on the double face tape, we'll try to remove the So that's
we'll try to remove the outside layer of the frame <laughs> Let's think. So it's more difficult than uh, then using the one that is already uh, installed but we'll get there we'll try to first apply So yeah, we'll try to just take the frame first. Let's unstick it. Okay. Then we are going to apply this double face tape to The, to the frame, so let's try to stick it so this is the most tricky part, you have to be very careful there so as you can see I, I started to to stick it on the top part and then I will lift slowly this and try to apply it all the way around like this Oops. that looks correct okay There, there we go. Maybe here just uh, slightly. We just slightly push it down here. Okay, then with the nail I will just go all around to make sure it stick correctly. Uh, looking good so now be very careful that you didn't put your finger here 
because you will have some uh, marks and you won't be able to remove them after you assemble so now take you if you have some marks you take you can take a close a cloth and then just wipe wipe it clean make sure there isn't any marks or anything okay like this you can see and uh, it's very clean now so up so now we're just going to stick it back to the front case so we need to remove the the second layer protecting the um, double face tape so with the nail we're just going to pull it if it wants to come there you go so I just put some of my finger on the corner so I will just wipe again by being careful because now I removed the double face uh, protective layer so we just clean here like this make sure it's clean Well, that's that's looking okay so I just remove it all the way and then I will apply it directly on the cavity so I will come closer to the camera so you see you just apply it on the position and that's it you can press on the side you use your thumb to press on the side like this okay looking good so that's it so now we can assemble back everything uh, we put back the silicones first uh, not the silicones first the plastic buttons sorry and then on top we put the silicone We check everything is okay. We put back the second silicone here. Okay, that looks that, that looks good. So now we will just double check again that there isn't any marks on the or dust here. We just clean again. Okay. Then also you have to make sure there isn't any dust on the LCD side, so we also clean the LCD. Well, that looks good. So I, you don't need to put your finger here. You shouldn't, So because if you do you will have some marks. So you see I hold the PCB and the LCD together with my fingers. It's I'm holding both and then I will put back the PCB. So in order to do so, I, I hold here the LCD and I put it down on the cavity here. And then you have to keep the PCB closed because the ribbon is not so long. So you keep the PCB closed, but you the idea is that you have to put the LCD inside, the, inside its cavity. So you just press here. Then we can check closer. and it looks like it's okay it's right in the cavity so now we're just going to put back the pcb make sure the speaker goes make sure the speaker goes on the on its uh, cavity too so yeah like this that's looking good so now we put back the two buttons, plastic buttons. Don't forget those, or you won't uh, be able to. Well, you will be able to press the button, but dust will go out inside. So we just put back those two buttons here and here. Looking good. Then we need to connect the L and R buttons. Don't forget, or they will not work, obviously. So we just connect them here by pressing on the side of the connector 
then you should hear some click like when it's inside and so make, yeah make sure the buttons don't move and so now you have you just have to close but um, uh, you you need to make sure the buttons are going into their sockets you see the button here when I try to close I have to make sure it it goes inside and the same is true for the other one you have to make sure both goes inside you see here I cannot close because the button is uh, not straight so I will just push it straight like this up and that's oh sorry and that's it so now everything looks good you can check that all around the case is closed and when you're sure it's okay you just put back the six screws you hold the game once all closed with one hand like this you can just tap a little bit to make sure the screws go inside and then you can screw the the cases back together so you don't have to screw extra strong because you will break the if you screw too too hard like this you will just break uh, the plastic shell so you just screw tight but not so tight you see here like this is okay Well, that's it. We can put back the battery in the battery case too. And that's it. We have the LCD. So you should not have any marks inside if you clean correctly before assembling the LCD. Here we have some marks, but it's only on the outside. And there you go. You have the glass screen that is installed. Well, that's pretty much it. Now we can just put the PC protector inside uh, those layers that we had for the uh, for the uh, for the glass protector. So we can just keep it for later use if we if we need it. And you can also keep, I think, the double face tape because it's. This kind of tape is pretty handy, so you don't have to waste it, you can just keep it. And also if you want to put back the PC protector later, you can use this double face tape, just cut strip, strip of it and put the strips on the protector. So just keep these. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and have a good day.